guys welcome back to my channel it's allegra margella if you're new here welcome today as you can tell from the title we have a cute little set that we're going to be making today courtesy of miss seams of a socialite aka miss tiara mcfadden i think i did that backwards i should have said her name first tiara mcfadden aka seams of a socialite i ordered her pattern the nika pattern which is just cute little underwear with a nice tank top very cute and loungewear i pretty much we're gonna make this cute little set very simple it's with knit fabric and it comes in multiple sizes it does say when you get the pdf that you know you can print at staples but staples isn't the closest store for me i actually went to office max which is closer to me and they printed the patterns on these two big engineering rolls so you don't have to worry about like taping things together it's all laid out all the sizes and it only cost me $15 to get those two printed. And I didn't get the instruction print because I have that on my laptop and I can just look at it. And pretty much I, I think I can grasp the concept of cutting out a pattern and putting it together. And I want to go ahead and get right into it. So let's get So this is the underwear portion of the pattern. I'm going to first spot my size, which happens to be right here on the edge. Size medium. And then now I'm going to just go ahead and cut that out. The fabric I'm going to be using is this tubular knit that I had left over from a Mood Fabrics purchase. And I'm also going to be using some stretchy lace that I got from Walmart. I chose these two fabrics because I wanted this top to be more than just something I can lounge in. I wanted it to be something I can wear, but also if I didn't want to lounge in it, it would still be cute like I'm lounging now. So yeah, I like all things girly and I thought lace was just super girly. Like you can't go wrong with lace. So, yeah, that's how I got the idea for my fabrics. She does say that in the pattern you should use something with a four-way stretch, which I understand because you want it to be able to pull up over your body and, like, squeeze everything in. So, definitely make sure your fabric has a four-way stretch. Very So I'm going to go ahead and lay my patterns, making sure it's on the fold, and just cut everything out. I will say I recommend using a rotary cutter because, as you can see, I switched scissors because it was a lot to really cut through the curved areas. So just use a rotary cutter and cut all your pattern pieces out. So when it came to the panties, I had to cut two pieces in the tubular knit instead of an attached piece in the fold because I didn't have enough. So make sure you have more than enough fabric, guys, to lay everything out the way it's supposed to be. Um, I'm going to use my rotary cutter because I learned from using the tubular. <laughs> so I'm going to use that to cut out the lace for each pattern piece as well. I was actually able to cut the panties the way they were supposed to because I had enough fabric for the lace. So just make sure you have enough fabric to lay everything out on a fold. So for the panties, I'm going to go ahead and connect that seam that was actually supposed to be on fold with a stretch straight stitch. Um, if you don't have this option on your sewing machine just use a zigzag stitch but with the stretch straight stitch it gives you less puckering but it also keeps the straight you know look to it and it keeps the stretch with it so i'm going to first attach the lace to the knit 
with a zigzag stitch all around the edges so pretty much it's like gluing it on there but we're sewing it so we're just trying to make them into one piece I'm also going to do the same thing with the panty pattern. I'm going to put the lace on top and sew all the way around. Once the lace and the knit are attached and married, we're going to put the right sides together and we're going to just attach them at the side seams and the shoulder seams. For the panes, we're going to also turn them right sides together and stitch that down with the zigzag stitch. Um, and then once that's done, I'm going to fold over once. Um, you can fold over twice, it depends on how thin you want that area to be. And I'm just going to fold over once and do a zigzag stitch down. As you can see from my sewing, um, my straps or shoulder seams, whatever you want to call them, my straps are actually thicker because this is the look I want it you know I want it to be something that I don't feel like too like naked in I feel like the thicker the shoulders I mean I don't know that's just something I wanted I wanted the shoulders to be thicker because I want it to look like something I can just wear by itself versus something that's supposed to be underneath what I'm wearing I don't know if that makes sense but yeah you can always alter it the way you want to I only folded over once because lace and knit do not fray so i wasn't worried about that but if you want to fold over twice if you have like a satin fabric or if you just want that slim look go ahead and fold over as many times as you want to for your custom look so this is what i wanted to go for and yeah that's what i did i also did a straight stretch stitch to flatten the seams on the sides of the panties and the shirt All right, butterflies, this is the finished look. Let me show you guys, it's so cute. And shout out Miss Tiara McFadden, Seams of a Socialite, for providing and creating this pattern. Um, the pattern was so easy to follow. Great for those who are beginning to sew or learning how to. You don't need a whole lot of fabric. And yeah, like you can never have too many underwear and tank tops. So I think it's a very, very good, you know, pattern to have in your stash. So if you want to purchase it, I'll have the link below. It's very affordable. Um, and it's really up to you what materials you want to use. Um, so I feel like it can be stretchy. I feel like you can alter it and make it different you can add the little ruching in the front or the sides i would have went there but <laughs> i'm actually on a time crunch and i was able to finish that and maybe with the cutting and sewing in less than two hours thank you butterflies so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next video bye butterflies